Thanks so much, Brian. The Winston-Salem Symphony is kicking off its 75th anniversary with a concert series. It's called Celebrate, and it features a selection of music you're sure to love, whether you're a new fan of classical music or a seasoned symphony goer. To tell us more this morning, I'd like to welcome Joanne Falletta. She is joining us live. She's an award Grammy winning conductor, holds multiple music leadership roles around the country, and she's the guest conductor for this weekend's concert series. Joanne, you are just the woman to be here. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very happy to be here celebrating 75th anniversary of the, of the symphony. I know this is fantastic. So tell us what can audiences expect from the performances celebrate? Well, it's very dramatic. It's very colorful. It's very joyful. We have a great Tchaikovsky symphony with blazing brass and, and beautiful strings and wonderful woodwinds. I mean, it's going to be a very upbeat, festive concert because we are celebrating uh, a 75 anniversary is a big deal. It is a so perfect name, right? Celebrate for the right. occasion. Now, what makes this sort of music and performance so I guess appealing for all audiences, right? You're talking all ages should come out and see this. Absolutely. We have a great pianist who's coming to be with us, Alexandra Dariescu, uh, and wonderful music that everyone will love. I mean, young people, everyone will love this. And what a an privilege to actually be able to hear and see live music. We've missed that. Mm -hmm. And I think people will be overwhelmed if they haven't come into the concert hall uh, recently at the power of being in the middle of a live concert. It's overwhelming, it's uplifting, and and very joyful. Just what we need right now, right? Now tell That's us, right. Joanne, is there any piece you feel audiences will particularly enjoy this weekend? Well, in addition to the symphony, we have one of the most beautiful piano concertos ever written by Edvard Grieg. Everyone knows this concerto. It's very famous. It is romantic. It's lyrical. It's virtuosic. And we have a great pianist to play it. So if you're a lover of piano, and most everybody is, and romantic mm -hmm. music, and most everybody is, <laughs> this is the piece for you. So it's going to be one of those concerts that it's just beautiful from beginning to end. Oh, sounds nice. And Joanne, you've worked with orchestras all around the world. So tell us what you think makes the Winston-Salem Symphony so special to be a part of. It's the musicians, you know, they are so excellent and filled with imagination and, and uh, vibrancy. They've got a kind of chemistry on the stage that I feel and I know the audience will feel. I've loved working with them and I'm so glad to be back and they are really superb. So you've been here before, Joanne. How many times have you guest conducted? I came in 2009, and I think I fell in love with the orchestra then. I mean, they were so wonderful. But I'm so glad to be back and uh, and see a lot of the same people again, but also to feel the very special happiness that we feel now because many of us haven't had a chance to play live music for a long time. So don't miss it. I mean, this is, this is one of those concerts that will just uplift you and, and make you feel good about life. Sounds fantastic. We're so glad it's here in Winston-Salem, too, to be able to enjoy. Joanne, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for your time. And remember, folks at home, you can see Celebrate at the Stevens Center in Winston-Salem this Saturday at 7.30 at night or, again, Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. And you can find more information at the website on your screen, wssymphony.org. Well, the 